Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com. I'm currently on my Fire TV Stick 4K Max, and you will see that there is an update for Surfshark VPN available. Now you will see here, I can't get over to click that update button. So I'm going to enable mouse toggle. I've already installed that on my device. Tutorial linked in video description if you need that. I'm gonna double click the play pause button quickly on my remote. It gives me the mouse. I'm gonna click update now. And it says time to update. New app version available. It requires a manual download. So I click update. Downloading update. Now I've already gone through this process, but nothing happens. So I'm going to show you how you can update Surfshark VPN to the most recent stable version with the TroyPoint Toolbox. I'm going to exit out of Surfshark VPN. I'm going to launch the downloader application. Now if you don't already have this on both Amazon Fire TV devices and Android TV, Google TV through Google Play, you can install Downloader. It's a free application. I'm going to launch Downloader. Now, if this is the first time that you've launched it, you're going to get a prompt asking for permissions. You must click the Allow button. I'm going to move up, put the cursor in the URL box, click the OK button on my remote, type in 250931. That's going to open the TroyPoint Toolbox. Click Go. Wait for the five-second load screen. Now, if this is the first time you've used the TroyPoint Toolbox, I suggest marking this as a favorite within the Downloader app. To do that, hold down on the OK button for a few seconds, and then click Add Current Page to Favorites, and then click Save. And when you do that, it's going to be available over here in the Favorites section. Many TroyPoint tutorials are based off of this. We have dozens of applications available for install, not available through the Amazon App Store. Okay, I'm going to scroll down, and the Surfshark VPN application is at the top of the list. Again, I'm always pointing to the most recent stable release, so you can always use this to either install the latest release of Surfshark or update. I already have Surfshark installed on my Fire TV Stick 4K Max, so I'm going to go ahead and click Download. Updating is the same as installing. You just go through the same process. I'm going to click Download. And if you already have the application on your device, it says here, do you want to install an update? It recognizes that you already have Surfshark installed and that you're trying to install a new version. This will also keep your settings within Surfshark. Click Install. App installed. I'm going to click Done. Now, after clicking the Install button, if you see a screen like this that shows App Not Installed, this means that you already have the most recent stable release of Surfshark installed. This is the typical error that you see on an Android device whenever you're trying to install something that's already installed. We always click done when using the toolbox. We want to delete the installation file. There's no need to leave that. Go back to the home screen. I'm going to launch Surfshark VPN and now you're going to notice that the update message is gone which indicates that we have updated successfully. It's also important to point out that you can use this same update procedure for all of the applications within the free TroyPoint toolbox. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be informed whenever I release new videos like this in the future. Also, if you haven't already got it, be sure to get my free secret app store guide that will show you how to install thousands of applications not available within the Amazon App Store. You can click the link in the video description below to get the free guide or scan this QR code with a camera app on your phone or tablet. Registration page will load, fill out the form, and the guide will be delivered to your email inbox immediately. Guys, have an awesome day and thanks for following TroyPoint.